at the end of the day, I'm doing what feels right for me and chasing down my dream. One of the most common questions I've been getting asked over the last two months. Canadian college or Europe? Was it going to be worth it? It's a decision I'm going to have to make next year and i got some questions to answer. What are you struggling with right now? Blood crush. How much action do you get from Tinder? And a big update. Did he really like what he saw? A lot of potential. If only it was that easy. Honestly, don't understand why a college would not just sign. This video is powered by Into the AM and it all starts right now. I'm here all week, trying to veal the protein pancakes. Before I went overseas to play hockey in Sweden, to play professionally, shall we say, I know it's technically speaking not pro hockey because I wasn't getting paid and it was the minor levels. Was it going to be worth it in contrast to giving up an opportunity to play the collegiate level in Canada? The deal that I signed in Sweden, which was the first deal that I signed last off season, was the deal I ended up going with because everything else was shut down. Playing for VIU, we only practiced two days a week. I was only allowed to practice one day because I wasn't one of the guys playing games. I basically got shots whenever I was allowed to get shots. And then in Europe, we only practiced two or three days a week, give or take. You wake up, you got probably from about 7 a.m. till about about 1 to 2 p.m. to do whatever you want in the day. Then everybody in North America is waking up, you're getting texts, you know, you're FaceTiming people. And in this case, the vlog's going up around 3 p.m. Sweden time. And then after that, you go to practice, you know, you have a good time, you come home, have dinner, go to bed. It, it was a great schedule. And my roommate, Liam Sweeney, I know he loved it as well. The hockey is different, which is kind of nice. The university experience uh, off the ice is a lot of fun. I'll just leave it at that. Old city, baby. I've beaten this horse dead for the last year and a bit, but finished my degree. I got two years left of my business degree, and I got four years of Canadian college eligibility. And in my eyes, I see that is free develop. The big question that a lot of people have asked, and I've, I have to ask myself, I guess when the time comes, is Canadian college or Europe? At the collegiate level, you know, you have classes at 8 a.m., 9 a.m., 10 a.m. Sometimes you start at noon, depends on when you choose your classes. I'm a morning person, I like getting my classes out of the way, getting them done over with. Come home, have lunch, maybe do some homework. That's a lie, I never did homework. Keep in mind, we also practiced late at night at VIU, then we did 10 p.m. to midnight. Our owner came in one day and, and I think he told me, he was like, you know, we're, we're practicing at this hour because it was the cheapest ice we could possibly get. I spent 87 days in Sweden and counting. I couldn't predict, nor could anybody else predict in August or September that the season was gonna be cut extremely short to practice and not play a game. We got into three preseason games, played really well in one the bed in the first one and I thought I played good in my third one despite getting the yank. And it really did change my perspective on applying training and, and thinking the game at a level that I haven't done, to be honest, in three years, in, in playing any games at all. And I'm also beyond lucky to have the support that I do from the goalie coaches that I work with. The responsible thing to do would be to finish my education while playing hockey and then move on to something overseas. But the goal is to play somewhere where the rinks actually allow you in. Is that realistic? Million dollar question right now, not just for me, for anybody in Canada, a lot of people in the US, and even more people on a global scale. I probably don't need to explain to you why. The truth is, who knows what's gonna be open, who knows what the options are come that point in time. I'm sorry for the clickbait and kinda of blue balls you, but no matter what I do, I know I have great goalie coaches that have been supporting me, Steve McKeegan, Derek Bujan, Pascal Villana, Brad Sherwin, and Guy St. V, this guy. This guy has been supporting me for so long, and I can't say thank you enough to him, and we are actually skating to the ice time. Let's get excited. <laughs> what a way to start. The icy hot super slide. <laughs> idea of putting a dangler on last summer was. That rock style glove integration like this looks really, really nice. These guys are like, what the f They don't know what's happening. And then anything that hits it just... It does. Wow. Hey, 
Tech, we think lost the video. He said he really liked what he saw. A lot of potential. Talk to the head coach and see where we can go from here. I honestly don't understand why a college or university would not just sign you. I think a lot of these coaches are scared of the YouTube thing. I honestly believe so. Guys that are 40 and 50 are like, that's not cool. Yeah. It's going to be a new coach that's going to be willing to take a take a flyer. I can sign you now. Like, get it over with. If only it was that easy. We got to get you coaching a college program. Maybe. Oh, and bust the camera so the camera can see what I'm seeing. Oh. <laughs> we don't have insurance for that. <laughs> oh. You saved me. So the tall pony building right there, that's the Canadian Museum of Human Rights. All the lights are on in different colors, so now I got like a little light show going on every night inside the building. When it gets really dark, it looks really cool. You've probably seen that in the vlog a couple times. So I'm in the midst of moving. I'm actually, I'm moving to suite a couple floors up as of tomorrow actually. Before we begin this Q&A, Stephen, the guy that I did the road trip in Jasper with, he had one of these on him at all times and after trying it, I was like, man, like I gotta, gotta get me one of these. So, uh, Tonker, great stuff. I'll put a link in the description if anybody's interested in picking them up. Let's begin this Q&A. Time for a Q&A. Well, I came on. Yeah. Strap on your skates, you're going in. And as always, if you have a question that you want me to answer, leave it in the comment section below. I'll do my best to get to it. If it's a great question, I guarantee it'll make an appearance. First question, celebrity crush. Jimmy Garoppolo, sexiest man alive. Mullet tutorial question mark? Step one, letter buck. Step two, wait. What camera do you film with and what are some tips for people starting a YouTube channel? If you love what you do and you're passionate about making the videos, they'll be successful. So this is the Canon 90D. This is what I'm filming on right now. It's got a shotgun mic on top. I've had it for about a year. For any of the on-eye segments, I always use action cameras. This is the Insta360 1R. Any of the action cameras that I use, there's a link down in the description. It's an affiliate link. Michael Shaken asks, what are you struggling with right now most in life? Nutrition has always been something I've struggled with and, and I'm struggling trying to get back into that of counting calories every single day. I made a lot of progress last summer, counting calories, counting fats, counting proteins, taking a bunch of weight off my body, being lighter, moving better, and put a little bit on during the winter, and plus being over in Sweden, eating all those boules every single day. Struggling with that a little bit lately, but slowly getting back on track. Ash wants to know, best starter supplement. These are called greens from Beyond Yourself. These are the citrus green tea ones. They taste just like iced tea. They're my personal favorite. Some of the other supplements that I've tried for green supplementation, I would much rather chug liquid out of my garbage chute than drink their greens. These taste legit. They're just like iced tea. Want to pick some up. If you're out of Canada, go to the Beyond Yourself website, promo code TRAVSSUCKS, 10% off. If you're in Canada, Popeyes Canada website link and that Popeyes Canada link will get you 10% off anything Popeyes wide. There's a dog that lives me next door and I hate that dog is always barking. AJ, how is the new skate profile on your steel? Are you still using it or did you return your old ones? 13 foot radius, one degree pitch. You're either gonna love it or you're gonna hate it and you're gonna wanna quit. There's another title for another video as I'm quitting again. Right this now. time I actually mean it though. Talked about it a little bit in the Ultrasonic Skate Review that I posted on Wednesday, but it was great. I fell in love right away. Only downside, the guys at the hockey shop did it. They did a great job, but they yanked off like half my blade when they did it. So when I go back to Vancouver next month, I'm gonna be taking out a couple cowlings and getting those profiles as well and put a new set on because I got like almost no blade left on here. So what is your go-to job if YouTube doesn't work out? Probably unemployment. Protein supplement recommendations. I'm biased again, but this is beyond yourself. This is the maple syrup pancake flavored protein powder. I use vanilla all summer. I find this works best for my protein French toast and protein pancakes every morning. Protein powders, a lot of them are almost barely even stomachable. This stuff is actually great. I will chug it just as is in a protein shake as I would in putting it in pancakes in French toast. It's great stuff. And same thing, promo code TRAVSUCKS at Beyond Yourself and Popeyes Canada, depending on where you live, linked in the description. Shane Kirk, are you looking to get any new pads anytime soon? And if so, which ones? I was thinking of getting some 12.2s, probably the retro version of the True 12.2s. I'm gonna cover up the logos because I don't wanna give True any free advertising and I don't support their business practices. I'm also not gonna be getting gloves because the 12.2 gloves are the exact same as the 20.1 gloves with the new graphic, but I would be probably getting pads probably sometime in the summer. Curious to try them out. What does a 580 closure feel like? 
It feels magical to be honest. It feels like it catches the puck for you. Best glove I've ever owned. Final question of the day, how much action do you get from Tinder? Well, I'm not getting a lot lately, but I'd be getting a lot more if I was actually wearing some proper clothing on my dates. These shirts and these shorts from the folks at Into the AM, they are great. They are awesome. I'm wearing them nonstop and you can tell because I spilled a bunch of chili on my shirt this afternoon. The chili was great, but the shirts are even better. Into the AM is sponsoring today's video, so big thanks to them for making this video financially possible because I am broke. And they got some great options for clothes, for some shorts. There's a link down in the description, and if you use the promo code TRAVSUCKS, you actually save 10%. You can go to the website, pick up some clothing. Again, Into the AM, they got some great, great stuff. And thank you for making today's video possible. The video's over. See you on Monday. If you ever need some awesome butt ends grips, Block Knuckle Guard, more awesome pro return sticks, sidelineswap.com, great place. Link in the description for 10% off your butt ends, your blocks, and sideline swap. Promo code TRAVSOCKS gets you a $7 credit when you sign up for the website. See ya. You ever wondered how I get some of these opening shots at the train? I literally wait here at the bridges for 20 minutes, maybe a half hour, even an hour, fingers get freezing, and I just hope that it comes.